Welcome to MBS Show, episode number 314. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Amy. Hello, everyone. Hey, Amy, how are you doing? A bit coughing there and then. I mean, it's been quite busy. I mean, I'm supposed to do this around last week, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but somehow, I, I managed to get some strikers in, so yeah, it's no problem. Yes. <laughs> so how have you been? How have you been? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, and as usual, with my BJD, my ball jointed doll stuff, a bit of gaming there and there, and recently, I'm starting doing Lolita again. Oh, yeah, i I seen that, i seen the pictures. Pretty cute. Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, also, my upcoming things, I'll be going for Macau for eight days. Mm. That, that sounds Yeah, fun. it's not holiday, it's working, it's, it's work related. You only have to work for six hours. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so anyway, I know that you're in a bit of a rush with your mobile quota because you're phoning it in this time. <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, as I said before, I'm be going to Macau soon, so I have to wind back my hometown to do few preparation, you know, medical checkout, cars, and everything prepared. So yes, I'm unfortunately where I'm living now, we did not have any good internet connection, so I'm relying on my phone data right now all right then, all right then. so let's not delay that and let's straight in and let's go straight into business so in the first news do you know the power rangers do, do, do you know who they are or what they are last night was saban right um saban was the people who pulled them in from japan and yeah, made yeah, their yeah. own and whatnot yeah so I, i'm guessing you know a bit and you've seen a bit oh i do grow up i mean the old days yeah i do grow up with the first power rangers yeah 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 yeah, uh, Tommy Oliver's best. So anyway... I used to have crush with Billy, the Blue Ranger. I grew up liking him a lot. Maybe that's why my current boyfriend looked like Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brian. <laughs> Boy, you, do know, oh, you, you do know that um, around, I, I think, what, season 3 or what is it? Um, he got really buff, so he's not the typical nerd anymore. So it's like, hmm... I, actually, I kind of like it because I do feel like there is a, some sort of character development and give hope to guys that, see, if you put some effort, you can look hot. <laughs> yeah, but anywho, um, <laughs> let's be the point. Um, Saban, yeah, yeah. Saban here recently got bought by Hasbro and uh, they got bought for 522 mil. And that is a pretty penny. Yeah. That is a pretty penny. So, um, me not knowing about this so much, I'm just going to just say that uh, Hasbro buying Saban out, that means they have a lot of things to work with, uh, from Power Rangers to Big Bad Beetleborgs to even Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. My only guess they make this kind of move is because the new Power Rangers movie, uh, and maybe they see a potential in it. So I'm not sure about that. So nah, probably nah, nah. It's, I, I don't think the buyout I don't think the buyout comes from that. I think the buyout comes from toys. And the licensing and whatnot. Mm. Because Power Rangers is kind of a popular brand. Like, uh, for what? Uh, I've seen Power Rangers since um, 96 or later, 94 probably. So you can just imagine how long I've seen it. And it's still running now. Shows like Mask Rider or, yeah, Mask Rider or Big Bad Billboard or whatever I mentioned before, they're not on anymore. That's because the raw mm, footage yeah, was not there, true. but so on. But still, um, like I mentioned before, the popularity of Power Rangers is there. And the toys, have you seen the toys in the toy aisle in Toys R Us or whatever toy? Oh, yeah. Place? I, I, I did. And my, my brother, when we were younger, we used, he, he, I mean, he, at least he used to like Power Rangers toys. And okay, according to my brother, I, uh, the, some of the toys are hit and miss in a sense, in, in the quality and detail. Because one thing about my brother, He's very particular about details. So, I think the current one is also some hit and miss as he pointed out. I'm not 100% sure. I recently went to Toys R Us with a friend to check out some Power Ranger toys for his son. Mm-hmm. And most of the toys that I saw were, nah man, nah, you, you better not buy this. Like, your child is just 3 to 4 and that toy doesn't look like it can withstand his rough nature. So, no. <laughs> So yeah, like I mentioned before, um, Hasbro buying it over is interesting. We, we'll see what uh, we'll see where they go from here and on out. 
can I point out? Uh, because the news is also in Equestria Daily, and there's this one comment that he's too hilarious that I have to point it out. Okay, okay the comment say, here look, Disney buys Marvel, <laughs> Disney buy Lucasfilm, <laughs> Disney buy Twenty First. I know you saw that comment. I find it he he uh he or she said, Hasbro buy Power Rangers, and then somebody just had to add it and say, then in the future Hasbro will buy Disney and thus have everything. <laughs> I just had to point it out. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. You saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be checking that. Uh, yeah, sometimes the EQD comments <clears throat> are a gem of... Um, like, yeah. Uh, are, are gems. But anywho, but anywho uh, let's move on to the next one. So, next one <laughs> is gaming. So, you play games, right? You, you mentioned you've been playing games. Uh, like what? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I think you played um, Dragon Age, if I'm not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm um, finally in the final quest fight, the DLC, the Trespasser. Nice, nice, nice. So anyway, um, this might sound like a weird question, but do you play Minecraft? Actually, I do, but not that serious. Okay, I have a bit of reason why I cannot play seriously because my boyfriend hates it, so I have to play quietly. <laughs> So anyway, uh, at least you, at least you do play it. At least you do play it. Um, yeah, I, I know how it works. Yes, I know how it works. Uh, I don't just because it's not my kind of game. I, I noticed that mm-hmm. games that have to do with building is not my cup of tea. So yeah. But anywho, um, if you are a fan of the Minecrafts, I do suggest you go and check this one out because somebody created Cantalot Castle in Minecraft. I saw that and I was mind blown. And okay, I'll tell you again a bit why my boyfriend don't like it and why I decided not to show that to him. Mm-hmm. I mean, because my boyfriend is a programmer uh-huh. and he keep telling me one thing about Minecraft because he did give a shot, that's the thing. He said that to him mm-hmm. that sometimes he did not want to believe these people actually build it because he said you actually can code it and just let the thing build by itself. And I said, oh, okay, whatever. But I, for me, with that Cantalot Castle, whether it's by code or by manually, it's still awesome. I love it. Yeah, still. Even, even it's very beautiful. True, true that. Like, if you go check out the um, links in the, what you call this, uh, links below, uh, they showed a few position of the castle. And, okay, like, even if it's coded, somebody needs to type mm. those numbers in. Exactly, exactly. I totally agree. And it's good work. Like, there's even an indoor shot of the place. And mm-hmm. it just shows one and it's pretty dark and it's Minecraft. So it ain't going to look good. But it's still ponies, I, I think. I know. So, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, but yeah, still, it looks good. It looks good. And I got <laughs> nothing more to say. I don't play Minecraft, but this is good. This is good. Makes me wonder what else the kid do do. Just in case people misunderstood, thought I'm a big fan and, and now try to find my Twitch. No, I don't really play that much, but I know how it works. Okay. All right, all right. If you want to find me, it's dra- you, you want to find me, it's Dragon Age like we talked earlier. <laughs> all right, Peter, all right, Peter. But anywho, um, let, let's go on to the next one. And next one is Starlight Glimmer and Trixie. Uh, you remember way back when there was that figure of a Starlight and Trixie on a rocket ship blowing off into. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember because you were looking for it. I was thinking about looking for it. It's one of those exclusives. Yeah. Um, it was on Entertainment Earth for a while, but it suddenly disappeared. And they explained mm-hmm. why. The reason for that is Entertainment Earth said that they were not supposed to post it up there because Hasbro said that, no, pu- pull it down because it's not ready. So they did. Mm-hmm. But whoever pre-ordered it, they're still safe. And their order is still in the stack. So, okay. I got no idea. Um, I don't see any spoilers for future episodes because who knows. But still, I do like that figure. And I, like, like I mentioned before, I would like to get it personally. It's one of those really nice figures. I mean, I, I'm, I'm still understand why would they want to put it off? Like, like you say, even if it's a spoiler, I mean, a lot of people already know the kind of friendship and yeah. kind of crazy things they might do. True. I think even though, it, I mean, it's true, somebody should have done that. But even if it's already been known and people seem to like it, so why pull it off? It's, you, in fact, you, make me, you might make more money with it. It's, it's not that. Like, um, I, I'm thinking it, this is the situation mm-hmm. where the product is there, but the supply is not ready yet. 
So Hasbro doesn't want to create an artificial uh, backlog of items that not being shipped and whatnot. You, you know, those artificially... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot what it's called. They did it with the Nintendo before, but still. That's why I'm thinking about this. And it, it also comes to the point of promotion is not ready yet, so do not post it up now. Like, pull it down, pull it down. We're, we're not ready, we're not ready, and so on. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that one, I agree, I agree. So it's unfortunate that they had to do that because... Look at all the fan art. People love this. Yeah, yeah. I, I do hope that this is some kind of crazy marketing ploy where they try to test out the waters and see how it goes. And suddenly it was booming. And now uh, Hasbro is kind of saying, let's do more. Let, let's print out more of this. <laughs> we'll see about that in the future. I, I do hope that because I really want it in our neck of the woods. I know you want it. You... Guys, you should hear how he's squealing when that was first announced. I forgot. <laughs> but anywho, um, <laughs> yeah. But but anywho, but anywho, let's head on to the next one. <laughs> so right. we watch My Little Pony because it's a fun show and it has good morals, right? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And somehow, uh, any QD poster by the name of Marvelland Ponder, I think I got the name right. Yes, Marvelland Ponder. You got it. You you got it correct. Right. Uh, posted up ten, and that's ten best moral or top ten morals in My Little Pony Generation Four, and some of these yeah. are really really good. And I admit, I mean, I kind of like how when you watch it, you feel like you learn the lesson. Then when you read the article, like the one you mentioned, you realize that they really touch up a lot of adult issues that actually you should be learning now. That like. I mean, all the things we will go through after this, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're not going to go through all 10 of it because that will be a crap show. We take very long, mm-hmm. yes. But here, okay, here's one. Uh, number 10, Legend of Everfree, it's okay to ask for help with financial and mental stress. What? Oh, this, this is a definitely good advice because, okay, I'll tell you one thing. A lot of old people keep thinking that millennials have everything. The truth is we are financially and mentally stressed a lot right now oh, yeah. and yeah this is one of the best advice that you can give actually i totally agree in this one yeah yeah i mean that like just mentioned that like i mentioned that like i i'm just wowed at that statement there and okay let's go for another random number okay number six um flight to the finish ability doesn't define worth your contribution can still be spectacular what <laughs> I mean, I agree also because uh, I'll tell you that the thing is between you and I, I feel like you are definitely a lot better in doing all these podcasts and everything. I, I almost at one time not sure I want to do this with you because I feel like I, I don't have a good ability to talk or anything. But well, but since I seems you enjoy my contribution, mm-hmm. so I guess yeah, my contribution is spectacular. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those things where I invite people on. If I uh, b- before inviting people on, if we are good buddies. We get well yeah. together. It's okay. If we get well together, that means uh, the show is going to go on autopilot. We just need to have a focus on what we're going to talk about. And yeah, luckily for us, we have a show note in front of us. And that's how the show works and so on. You know what I mean. But anyway. Yes. Continue on to the um, news. The lessons here are amazing. Like the way that Marvel... The writer, not the company. Um, Marvel, Marvel and Ponder. Yeah. Uh, the, the way that Marvel <laughs> here wrote the article here is just amazing. Because, yeah, we, we, yes. we know the lesson, and but we don't know how to word it. But Marvel here did yeah. a really awesome job at wording it. And like I said, it's worth a read. Go and check it out because, yeah, it's awesome. And talking about Marvel... You see what I did there? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. Now, I was wondering why you decided to go this one first. <laughs> because I... But, but guys, seriously, read the article. The title is Top 10 Best Morals mm-hmm. in My Little Pony by Marvel and Ponder. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Yep. So, uh, next news. Yep. I, I'm going to let you have this one because I see a bit of it. <laughs> so, I, I'm just going to let you take over for this one. I mean, okay, like this. Maybe you go tell the main point first why we even include in our talk tonight. Ah, then yes. I'll finish the whole story. Yes, all right. So, anywho, um, 
with the recent Marvel movie that came out, that is Marvel's Avenger Infinity War, a lot of promotions are going around, like the actors doing interview and whatnot. Uh, there's a very interesting interview with uh, Chris Helmsworth. Uh, he knows mm-hmm. how to speak Indonesian. Yeah, apparently he claimed he learned it in a school. Yeah, like, but he, he, <laughs> he can carry his own conversation. So like, wow, okay. Um, that's... I know, right? And I, I know he's quite understand when she's asked quite a long question and he'd be able to respond to yeah, her. And Chris Evans is like, what? In Indonesian. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and, and I know it's real the moment I saw how dumbfounded Chris... Captain America is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, what? Oh, but my favorite, my favorite is, <laughs> uh, my favorite is, um, a couple of Malaysian kids uh, parodied the trailer with a budget of three ringgit and something cents. And somehow it got the attention of the director. <laughs> I forgot the director. Who, who was the director's name? Which one? Um, Avengers. Um... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, you, you know me. Whenever you ask me, I know the answer. But when you suddenly ask me, hold on. Right, I right, suddenly... Right, right. Okay, I got, it. I got it. I got it. Um, the Russo <laughs> brothers. The, the, the Russo brothers. Um, Joe Russo or Anthony Russo. Um, oh, Joe! Yeah, 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 Joe Russo. So, anywho, um, <laughs> he he noticed it and um, say that it was amazing. <laughs> so, anywho, um, Marvel Marvel Malaysia invited those people, or uh, well, people who were involved in the making of said trailer parody. <laughs> and yeah, they they asked him, you know, the standard. Oh, how did you do this and whatnot. And then suddenly, um, the, one of the Russos came out, and yeah, they, they had a really great old time. Like, wow. <laughs> but that's not the main point. That's not the main point. Uh, we're a yeah, point. Yeah, that's not the main point. We stray, we stray too far right oh, now. We have to set it up. We have it's to set it up. Strange. We have to set it up. Yeah, it's just strange, Jamal. <laughs> yeah. so, um, you see what I did there? <laughs> so, anywho, um, we, like, like I mentioned before, a lot of actors go on interviews and whatnot, and... Who else was on an interview show? Recently, all the funny stuff, we have Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm-hmm. We for L.A.D. Bible, L.A.D. Bible, sorry. L.A.D. Bible, please try, don't be angry with me. And he did about reading this fan fiction. Have you watched it? I've seen a bit of it. Like, i seen the first, first few seconds because I, I didn't want to go... Why well, you did not see this? That's not a word. I, I don't know. It's like, uh, it was early in the morning. But anyway, continue on. Why was it? Okay, why are we talking this on the pony show? Because at the start, uh, Benedict is reading a fan fiction about Doctor Strange, <laughs> who is in the shower. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of show. A bit, a bit, a bit sobbing because he just finished watch the latest episode of My Little Pony, <laughs> which the, which the, this, this fan fiction writer was really like Queen Chrysalis and happy did I pronounce it a lot right again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Queen Chrysalis. And so happy that Queen Chrysalis came back at uh, at the end of the season. Um, but unfortunately rather than redemption like Starlight Glimmer mm-hmm. get or Sunset Shimmer get, she's still the villain. So I think Doctor Strange is so sad about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh wow. So- <laughs> and then uh. And the best part, if you watch the video, they even do some funny animation and they animate her oh curse just to pop up, uh. just to pop up and then disappear again. Oh my god! Okay, they, they, okay, I need to, I need to watch this now because I've seen a bit of it <laughs> and it was entertaining. But yeah, no, no, now that you mentioned it, like I, I, I didn't know that this was a full My Little Pony fan fiction. I, I thought it was just like an insert. No, so it's a full My Little Pony fan fiction. Uh, it's actually. It's actually an insert because it's just the opening. Then he got a weird phone call from Thor. Oh, yeah. And then... No, no. Should, should I spoil you at the ending? There? No, no. The ending yeah. is somebody else unexpected. Okay, no. We don't, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. It's, it's spoiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better watch yourself. Okay, you, yeah. I should better so, stop that. So, yeah. Um, who knew Doctor Strange likes my little pony? <laughs> Yeah! No, only that he like it. He like he love it passionately. He's crying in the shower. <laughs> oh boy. boy no. no, no, no. Okay, anyway, um that's that's the news for this week. That's the news for this week. Oh man. <laughs> but anywho, um but anyway. Uh, so let's go into my favorite topic and that is what have we been doing for a week. So Amy, um how was your week? Oh my week, uh, rec- okay, you won't believe this. I'm recently 
bonded with my father further because he just told me that all this year he's actually loved horse racing. Oh wow! Oh, all right. <laughs> Ah, so so ah, uh, he told me that he likes since he was a student in the UK and he still remember the legendary Red Rum, mm-hmm. and so I eventually I asked him why only now you start to tell me and watch all this horse racing. Then he told me because I just discovered YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so we watching for the official UK horse racing uh mm. <laughs> channel. So yeah, so he. Eh, and uh, of course, there's a the one that he introduced to me was the Grand National. It was a, one of the toughest horse racing because there's a lot of obstacles. I, I'm pretty sure Beta would not like it because there are, obviously will be some injuries mm-hmm. to the both jockey and the horses. But I mean, I kind of agree that some of them look sad when they got injured. But I have to admit, those horses are elegant and beautiful creature. Oh, true that, true that. And well, the, yeah, to see them run, yeah. yeah. Well, they they are meant for running, so that's good. But with the obstacle and whatnot, mm-hmm. and carrying a human on their back, that's not good. But still, oh, not not only that. Even the extra thing I learned that if the more experienced the jockey and the horse are, they're gonna put heavier things on the jockey, so make it the horse a lot carry a lot heavier stuff. That's not fair. Yeah, it doesn't because it's because let's say if the race example got eight. Uh-huh. They're going to be eight runners. And one of them is the champion or at least a lot of experience compared to the other three newbies. So to make it fair, that's why they call it... Uh, what do they call it? Handicap. Again? Not this A. Yeah, that's a word. Oh my God. Handicap. Yeah, handicap. Uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry. So yeah, that's how it works. Apparently. That's not fair. It's like Goku fighting Jiren. <laughs> uh, oh God, you're going there. <laughs> <laughs> you boss driving me crazy with, with Dragon Ball lately. Hey, Dragon Ball's finished, so it's a running gag. Okay, but anyway. So, what else did you do? Like, uh, besides bonding with your father, I think you're not done with your story about your father, from what I heard. Like, um, you have plans? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, because my father was thinking to take my mom to our local Slango horse racing feel itself to watch it live mm. and i was like hey what about me so okay he's gonna take the, all of us nice 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 so i will, I will update you uh, once i got there all right uh, do, do tell do tell i i heard it was full of smokers and dead souls uh, okay about that <laughs> yeah thanks for reminding me before i back to see <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, besides that, but besides that, uh, what else did you do? Apart of preparing for Macau, oh, uh, as I've been saying, I'm doing Lolita and all these ball jointed dogs. Okay, the reason why I missed last week is because I'm attending a ball jointed dog. One of the considered big event in Malaysia is the Dog Fest. It's equivalent to Comic Fiesta and. I think you have to explain what is Comic Fiesta for I did, uh, outside Malaysia listeners. I, I did mention it before because I it's one of my experiences going to a con before. But uh, for okay, okay. a refresher, um, Comic Fiesta is Malaysia's local um, comic convention. Um, it's what, what they call it is, is anime, game, and comic twice whatever it is convention something like that. So AGC, uh, yeah, anime, game, comic, correct? Yes. Yeah, so, AGC. So basically, it's that locally. Um, that's what we have. But in all honesty, it's a crapshoot of people going there and um, being in a place full of, well, let's just say it's not fun. Cosplay. Yeah, let's just say it's not fun. Yeah. But anywho. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, because it it used to be fun. Then it becomes too crowded and too commercialized rather than a true fan hangout. So, but Comic Fest is the biggest, from the biggest event for that kind in Malaysia. So what I attend for the door is the biggest for equivalent Biggest for dolls. Nice. So I went for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I would bigger still very small. And I think that's the nice part. Ain't no crowd and a real sincere people who really into it, the hobby rather than somebody who just wants to bandwagoning. Oh, yeah. I mean, you still have a lot of bandwagons. That's undeniable, but still. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, not that event because you, you, uh, the ticket, the ticket not that pricey, but who wants to spend ticket and not buying anything? Because imagine one of the door dress can reach up to 400. Well, it depends ringgit. on the quality and whatnot. I, I do have a friend who is, yeah, that's true. I do have a friend who is a, let's just say that he knows about it, but he doesn't have a doll. 
he's been oh yeah uh, um, yeah I know I know one of, uh actually one of our members went there he was curious he asked me and he really come oh cool well like, like I mentioned before yeah oh you're talking about yeah. Charles yes Charles was on the show once oh yeah yeah okay says so he's okay to mention it I wasn't sure yes yeah. Charles. Charles, Charles he actually asked for me yeah. Charles was on the show once yeah. so he's okay he's okay um mm-hmm. but other than that yeah uh, you know what uh, we can talk about that in person because it's going to be a lot of fun talk, telling you about <laughs> it, uh, so yeah so that's yeah, yeah, sure, so sure. you're now into the lolita dress thing and eh. the what lolita, interestingly about lolita it's not exactly i just started like some people thought i just started the truth is i did this 12 years ago ah okay but But I was a bit alone, a lonely, and no guidance. So I thought as long as freely and ribbon is Lolita. It's not really. They have a set of rules if you want to do it properly. So now I'm, I'm finally learning how to do it more proper. Ah, okay. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And pricey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, but still, but still. Uh, the, that's the price you pay for a hobby. <laughs> Yep, true. Stop, stop. Like how Just... how you bite all the Gundam kids also. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm guessing that's my cue to tell you about my week then. So my week, oh, yes, my week has been pretty interesting. So, um, it started out slow. Uh, a few friends of mine built Gundams, and I bought mine a while back, but never had the time to build it. <laughs> so I I took the time and built my um. RX Zero Unicorn, uh, real great RG. It's fun. Mm. It's fun. Um, I pose it, but here's the dilemma for builders. What do you do after you build yes. them? For me, what I did with my Gundam and my dolls, I do a lot of photo shoot. I think you saw them, but at least my dolls, you saw mm. them, right? So what about? Uh, did you know that we do have a local? Okay, I'm not sure now, but back then we used to have. Quite a number of competition where you do best diorama, for what? best fighting Gun- scene. Yeah, and then do... I, I know. Oh yes, yes, for Gundam. Yeah, Gundam, they have that. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not in deep yeah. into it. I'm just casual scrub. Ah. Uh, so. I see. And I, I don't paint my. Oh, well, don't worry. I only paint one, and the rest I'm quite lazy to paint. Also, oh, I, I but don't. You can do some. For... Yeah. <laughs> but still, I, yeah, quite... I understand. I understand. And here's the thing: after finish and taking a few pictures of it. I put it in a box and put it aside uh, because I don't have a stand. I'm not, not, not me. You should see. I got two friends who consider. I mean, one of them is my boyfriend, mm-hmm. and one of them is our best friend. You can consider these two are in a sense casual. Color based. What we were talking because they don't go into competition. They don't really take photos either. But once they build. There was they do buy a shelf to display, mm-hmm. and my God, every time you visit them, they say, "Look at this beauty." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'm wishing you the same story." Um... And for the tenth time, I'm visiting you guys. <laughs> They're totally pro- oh, you know what my boyfriend actually did? He actually follow my uh no, you don't follow my idea. We do together. When we build our PC, uh-huh. he put his RG red frame inside his PC. What? Because our PC, because our PC got view that we can yeah, look inside, most, and his PC is very cool. Yeah, most of the but R wait R G or P G. R G R G because R G is oh, smaller. Okay. Then it, then yeah. it P G is the biggest, yeah. so it, it, I think it'll fit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like P G. Uh, because no, oh yeah, I, I, oh, okay. One day if I got the chance, I will take photo and send to you because if we we both uh bought mid tower mid tower mm-hmm. uh for our PC. For the casing, and can you guess what I put inside my PC? Ah, uh, Twilight. No, 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 no. No. Another one I'm obsessed with. You know too well. Yes, I got a lot of new inside that. Oh, you, you, you better make sure there's airflow in that PC, girl. Oh yeah, don't worry. I did. Well, it was a concern at first. Then yeah, we already built out our PC. It's very cool. <laughs> don't worry. Alrighty then. We got a good air ventilation. Don't worry. I, so I um, uh, another thing that. Uh, recently happened, or I did, was um, participate in a FGC community meetup. Um, FGC means fighting game community. Mm. Okay. So um, went to my first one. It was a lot of fun. Played a lot of fighting games. Well, not really. It's just three games that were on display: um, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, uh, ah. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and also uh, what should we call this? Taken Seven. 
I only play two. Oh, nice. But still, I got to do, uh, meet up with a few friends, played a few fighting games, and just had fun. Um, I know my level now. I'm scrub. I always <laughs> known that. And yeah, we, we had fun. We had fun. And it seems that the community is still growing. And I do hope that we get a chance to make it bigger and whatnot. So who knows? Maybe next week I'll go and attend again. And maybe I'll bring in more games. Maybe King of Fighters. That's that's a game, right? So yeah. What? Wait, did you yeah, did you update in your Facebook all this? Uh, not really. Now what I didn't know. I'm pretty sure I should have known if you update that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, stalker, stalker notice. Not really. You're a friend of mine. <laughs> and if you if I post something, you'll notice on the timeline. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Then if next time when you come to KL, we have to go arcade. I I mean arcade, not in the oh yeah, not in console. We're gonna do King of Fighters. Let me see if I can beat you. This time. <laughs> oh, alrighty then, alrighty then. So that's gonna be fun. Alright. All right. But anywho, um, that's the news for this week, um, and also the show for this week. Um, we've been at it for almost half an hour. I hope I didn't burn through your quota. Oh, well, I'm not complaining. I'm still yep no. No warning. I'm fine. All right. Then. But anyhow, um, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsnogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Amy, where can the good people find you? Find me on Twitter, uh, Illy Carry Doll. I-L-I-C-A-R-R-I-E-D-O-L-L. Illy Carry Doll. Nice, nice. And is that is the only place? Well, I have a few places as well, like Facebook and Instagram. It's all the same username. I'm an easy person. So, Illy Carry doll all over the place. All right, then. Yeah. So Yeah, I love dolls. Uh, all right, then. So, anyway, uh, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe to the Ambition Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Separate Heart Song, talking about the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also other shows. One of the shows that we're, well, talking about most of the time is The Miracle's Ladybug. It seems a lot of people like it. Silver and Sappy don't. Let's torture them. <laughs> <laughs> If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank LurkerCat, Starstream, Mr. Lag, I Carry Doll, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much for the awesome support. So, um, Amy, have you checked out one of the exclusives for... The Patreons. Yes, I did. And did you listen to the one where before we start recording? Oh shit, I didn't. <laughs> uh, it's still there. It's still there for ex- um, for Patreons. Um, w- what it is is a two minute and seventeen second recording of the show before we start, and I couldn't remember what we talked about. So. All I know is hijinks in Sioux. So, Amy, go check it out because you are going to have a blast listening to that one. Alright. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sando. And I'm Amy, aka Edie Kaido. And we'll guys catch you next week with another episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Bye!